Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, one of the things I like doing is, is I like to analyze numbers and put things in a historic perspective. Um, you know, I always say that you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been and we can go through and we can start kind of getting a taste for what guys may be in the future. It doesn't always hold true, but by looking at what they've done versus other great players of their era, um, interesting take Bobby Bell, And this is what got me thinking. I, I did a video, I think yesterday morning talking about, um, Micah Parsons' numbers versus Demarcus Lawrence's. Micah Parsons' numbers are so good. They're so, how good are they? They're so good that they literally are about even with the numbers that Demarcus Lawrence had for the whole year, with the exception he's only one and a half sacks behind. We're talking about sackles and quarterback pressures and hurries. It's He is on an unbelievable play, pace. Bobby Belt actually posted, uh, tweeted this earlier today. Shout out to Gina uh, for posting, uh, uh, sharing this with me. Uh, Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons is the first player in NFL history with 50 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, and five sacks through his first five career games. Let that sink in for a second. Let that sink in for one second. Of all of the players, now now there's one caveat to this, though. Um, keep in mind that sacks weren't an official category till I think, 78 is when they started actually counting those. So, you know, you can't compare him, say, to Deacon Jones or Gino Marchetti and things like that. However, you can compare him to, say, DeMarcus Ware or um, – uh, Bruce Smith and guys like that. Okay. You know, uh, Charles Haley, you can compare him to most of the modern day defensive players. Let me say this one more time. He's the first player in NFL history with 50 tackles, 10 tackles for loss and five sacks through the first eight career games. Now I want to show you guys a little something. Last year, the Washington football team was, I think, second second pick in the draft. And they took what they said was a generational talent in Chase Young. Last year, not talking about this year now, not talking about this year. Last year, he did not disappoint. He became rookie defensive player player of the year and and i just want to play this because he was actually in the top 100 last year as a rookie at 61 right, let's just play a little bit of this the eagles they started chipping me and montez what our coach tells us to do is chip the chippers what happened that play chipper comes and i chip him and basically i bounced off and used my momentum and just spin around jason peters got a set it was definitely a crazy play there's the rookie chase young Everything was playing. Everything was playing. Everything was playing. I, I told you, I'm not, I don't stop. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I want to say he had a strip sack. Love the hair. Fumble recovery. Definitely respect them. I don't never want to lose enough games to get a guy like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I play against you all the time. Because you got to lose 14, 15 games to get a guy look like you. <laughs> like Thomas Actually, said, you don't. He said, I don't want to get you. That means we win it we losing too many games. I hear fumble. I get up and I see big Chase Young grab the ball with one hand and run down the field for a touchdown. My teammates, a lot of them were shocked by some of the stuff they were seeing by Chase over the year. But I've known this as Ohio State, so nothing really shocked me up until that point. That was crazy. 
All right, let, let's stop right there now. The NFL police, I, I don't know if this part will have to be cut out or not. It may end up being uh, taken out because of you know copywriting and stuff. If it does, let me explain to you what I was showing. I was showing a clip of Chase Young, NFL Top 100, where Chase Young was Rookie of the Year. And listening to people talking about the things that he was doing that just don't, you know, that, that just aren't normal. Here's the interesting piece of this. Hold it. Let's go to Chase Young's statistics for last year. Okay. Chase Young. Um, 2021 is not anywhere as good right now. He's got one and a half sacks, 14 solo tackles, two force fumbles. But if we look at actually last year, his NFL rookie of defensive rookie of the year, he ended up having four force fumbles. Incredible. Played in 15 games, had seven and a half sacks, 44 combined tackles, 32 solos, 10 tackles for loss, and 12 quarterback hits. And I know what you're saying. Well, you know, Micah Parsons is not Chase Young. Well, here's the thing. (laughs) Here's the thing that's kind of funny. Micah Parsons, just through this season, Okay, which is only eight games. Let me get the numbers here. Um, Through this season, now you'll remember Chase Young had 44 tackles combined. Micah Parsons in eight games. Chase Young had 15, has 52. He already has eight more tackles than Chase Young. Solo tackles. Now, Chase Young ended up with 38 in 15 games. Micah Parsons had 32 in just eight. Tackles for loss. Chase Young, on the season, had 10. Micah Parsons has 10 right now. Quarterback hits. Micah Parson has 12. Chase Young only had 14 last year. And quarterback pressures, um, Chase Young had 24. Micah has 18. Guys, we're talking about Chase Young had seven more games to do what he did. And you look at the numbers. Right now, Micah Parsons is blowing away everything that Chase Young did last year. Now, let me double check. Let me see. Force fumbles. The only thing that Chase Young has heads and tails above Micah Parsons right now is force fumbles. Micah Parsons right now, I, I actually did this thought yesterday. It's probably in another book. But Micah Parsons is on pace for 76 solo tackles, 104 um, 104 tackles on the season, about 21 quarterback, um, excuse me, about 28 quarterback hits, and about 22 tackles for a loss. This is insane. You might as well give Micah Parsons defensive rookie of the year right now. Right now. I, I'm, I'm being serious. He is literally, if you said that Chase Young was a generational talent, that Chase Young was, of course, that generational guy who would change football, th- then what is Micah Parsons? Because Micah Parsons is like a Swiss Army knife. He can play middle linebacker. He can play defensive end. He can play outside linebacker. He can rush in the middle. 
Chase Young, although Chase Young has come back down to earth. Chase Young, you expected him to take another step this year and be more dominant, but I think the problem with Chase Young is Chase Young believed too much of the hype of last year and came into camp not quite in as good a shape as he should have, having spent most of the time doing ads. Because Chase Young is kind of average. Right now, Chase Young is having a hard time beating one-on-one blocks with, with just, a, just a tackle. And I'm not talking about great tackles. I'm talking about average tackles. Micah is hungry. And he's not able to even focus on one position. He's having to learn everything from being the Mike linebacker and calling the defense to being a defensive end and having to take on a 320-pound tackle. He is doing everything above and beyond at historical number. I mean, look, look, beyond historical. When you say that he is the first player in the history of NFL, since they started keeping all these stats, to have 50 tackles, 10 tackles for a loss, and five sacks through eight career games? As a rookie? Man, he could be the player of the draft. I, I'm seriously, he could be the player of the draft. Change my mind. If you can figure out a way, change my mind. I, I, I just can't wait to see once he gets out all the nuances of, of playing defense. And having Dan Quinn as his coach, you, you see that guy is hungry. He, you see how hungry he is. Ten tackles last week alone, it's unbelievable. All right, y'all, with that being said, you know how we roll. We are going to get up out of here. And as always, I want to thank you all for being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. <laughs> oh, big run. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Shit. Oh, he still Oh, oh, uh, now you about to lose his mind. He hasn't seen the play yet. He hasn't seen the play yet. Please tell me why. Oh my God! What? What?